It's an epic commemoration befitting some of the bravest men and women the world has ever seen. Chat, is that, is, did it not doomsday? Ever seen. The heroes of D-Day were honored on the 80th anniversary of the invasion that turned the tide of World War II. At dawn, the Allies would strike. The great crusade to free Europe from tyranny would begin. What? I, I don't know. World I'm not American. Biden and First Lady Jill at the American Cemetery, where 9,387 of our servicemen are buried. The ceremonies carried live on every U.S. network. This is American soil officially, a little patch of America on this tragic bluff overlooking Omaha Beach. Tony DeCopel is covering the celebrations for CBS. Less than 200 World War II veterans were able to make the trip this year. This is down from thousands in years past. And when it comes to D-Day veterans themselves, survivors of one of the beaches here and that invasion, the number is even smaller. Just 31 D-Day veterans were able to make the trip. Their average age, Yo, does it, did you see, um, did you present Most are present in wheelchairs. They return to the beaches with Is their families. Joe Biden shit his Some no. riding in Wait, World no. War II era no. jeeps. It was vehicles like this that allowed the Wait, share your screen. Let me see that shit. Well, you, you can't see this shit, but you can see that shit, yeah. Hold on. I saw that on Twitter today. Bro, bro. Didn't that guy say in two yell he was gonna shit his pants? Yo. What is like quality, hello? Distinguished, Distinguished guests, guests, please, please welcome, welcome the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin III, Secretary, Secretary of Defense of the United States of America. Dude, he was sitting down! But what is this angle? We can't see anything. Bro. When did he shit? Bro, bro, bro. I saw the zoom in, like, bro, I, bro, I got clickbait in it. Are you kidding me? Oh, he didn't actually shit? Oh, man, yeah, man, I mean, he was like... Oh, oh. Wait, what's that? What's bro, the hem on the ground? Bro, what the he, fuck happened here? Bro, he was, like, moving weird and shit, then. Guys, am I wrong? No, this one has bad audio. What the fuck's going on today, man? I mean, guests, he was getting ready please to sit. welcome the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin. Yeah, but I mean, did he just like glitch though? Is it like a, like, like, like a bugged robot? Yeah, because he's like a Sims character right now. And guests, it's like the task is to sit. No, 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 he's bro, no, 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 he's bro, no. Unclicked. He's taking a shit. I'm telling you, brother. Bro, <laughs> I've seen it, brother. I've seen it. Come on, man. Distinguished guests, please welcome the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin III. No, and then they take him away. Joe Biden killed but, 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 but look, look the way he's moving, though. That's a full diaper, yeah. Hey, look, we have... That's our fucking president right there. So, am I wrong? They have a whole thing for when he shits his pants. Like, and they're doing it right now. It's Code Brown. They're like, yeah, it's like I... a whole ass thing they gotta do. That's what I'm saying now. <laughs> There goes my citizenship. Bro, chill out, man. <laughs> Joe Biden what? walked through his fucking stream, bro. I've never seen this before. We can see his house? Oh, it's yeah, the White House. Digest. Welcome to the Oval Office. Come on in. Oh. This is when he clicks the button for the ice cream. Now. This is the White House. This is it. On Inauguration Day, the outgoing president has to be out by, I think, noon or 10 o'clock in the morning. Incoming can't come in until 4 o'clock, so you can decide what furniture and what decorations you want in the Oval Office. And I had asked my brother to help me set up my office in here on the rug and the furniture, because he's a better architect than I am. What they do is, in suburban Maryland, there is a facility that is a replica in terms of dimensions Man, of the what old what a office. piece of and shit. So I gotta get, I'm just saying how it is. And rugs you want, see what it looks like. And so my brother knows my taste extremely well. 
I love this rug. I love the color blue. That's the one thing I knew I wanted. The rest, my brother picked out for me. And he had called a good friend, John Meacham, a presidential historian, for some help. Joe, it's fucking June. Put the Christmas I've tree I've spent more man. time with the yeah, Chinese man. leader than any other head of state. And he asked me, he said, can I define America? I said, yes, I can. In one word, and I mean it. Possibilities. Possibilities. We Americans think anything is possible, we would do it together. And that's why John Meacham helped my brother pick out those five portraits up there. It's all about possibilities. There's not a single thing we can't do. This was the Resolute desk that John Kennedy had. And uh, remember that famous picture? where John John, his son, where he came out from under the desk. Well, he <laughs> comes out shot. his door here. That's where he climbed out. Well, I have a little grandson, and what I decided to do when we came in here, here, let me show you. And that's my grandson, Bowie, coming out from underneath the desk. Mm -hmm. It's really an incredible office. I chose the things that sort of represent why I got into public life to begin with, for real. I wanted to be able to sit in my desk, and when I looked down to see the two heroes I had. Oh, dude, one, this, this is, no, no way. Dude, the, the fucking chair doesn't have space for the thighs? I wanted to be able to sit in my desk, and when I looked down to see the two heroes I had. What the fuck? One was Dr. Martin That's Luther That's terrible. King, the other is Bobby Kennedy. Then I have a woman who refused to move to the back of the bus. It's Rosa Parks. I have her bust in here as well. And there's one other person that was from that era. This is Cesar Chavez of the farm workers. He was organizing farm workers in the southern part of my state at the time. And I supported him. I never met him, but I supported what he was doing. It cost me well, Southern Delaware, <laughs> but I admired the hell out of him. I'm gonna the hands and then we're gonna go that. This is the love of my life and the life of my love. This is my daughter Ashley on her wedding day, and we're dancing the dance of the father and daughter. This one is really amazing. This is on the night Brock and I were declared vice president and president of the United States. My mom, who admired Barack a lot, wasn't even supposed to be walking out on the stage. And they said, and now the next yeah, president that? and vice president of the United States, Barack Obama and Joe Biden. And my mother grabs Barack's hand there and look a look on his face. She goes, come on, honey, it's going to be OK. She walked him out on stage. <laughs> she never stopped being everybody's mom. I have this rugby ball over here. This is the all-Irish rugby team. I have two cousins who were stars on that team, and they gave me this ball. And then every time I've been sworn in any public office, I've used this Bible. It's just a, a, an incredible keepsake that's been around in the family for a long time. By the way, the reason for Ben Franklin, I gotta put that up because my kids went to Penn and I was a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. This moon rock, it's pretty cool. It's a little rock from the moon. Oh, wow. This is my 67 Corvette. But my dad Bought didn't have a lot of money, but he managed the dealership. So when I got married, he gave this to me as a gift. I still have it. When I got elected president, Scranton decided to take Interstate 81 and the exit to Scranton used to be called the Central Scranton Expressway, they renamed it President Biden Expressway. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of other things in here that are consequence Jam, to me. And I they need a redo on this. Um, this this room is just not it. Uh, this wallpaper, like, look, you can even see, like, the fucking dirt. Because they use this door, right? And look, you can see the discoloration on the fucking, near the door handle, look, it's fucking browning. It's fucking browning. That's disgusting. Look over here, over there, it's just disgusting. I think of all the Fix incredible this shit. things that happened in this office over Jesus the Christ, man. Years. Fix the fucking really house, is. man. It's just an incredible honor to be here. It's nasty. Let me show you back here. People don't get to go back here very often. I think these are great sketches of Frederick Douglass. I have them put up in the wall here. There's a because they managed the world in this piece of shit, like dying house. It's rotten, echoey ass hallways. 
the doors creaking. Yo, the private fix office back here. The fucking this thing. Is right come How when hard did it be? Get away a little bit to work on a speech. Bro. There's a great oh, portrait of President Kennedy there. The Kennedys didn't like it because it made him look too contemplative. I think it's a great portrait. I'll fix it. And on the wall here, a lot of kids will send me these cartoons, and I put them up on the wall, and then I take pictures of them and send them to the families, which the kids get a kick out of. But I think they're really neat. And this is the house I was raised in, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, on North Washington Avenue, which, by the way, the last three blocks at the end of North Washington Avenue, they call Biden Way now. They renamed it. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I. Ah, this is disgusting. Like this is chat. This is deteriorating. Dude, the state of this fucking carpet and a wall molding. Like this, it's dusty. You can smell. This is this shit. This is a private dining room. Not many people get to come back here. Barack and I used to have lunch, as I say, years once a week in this room right here. But I have a lot of personal family photographs back here. This is a picture of my son, Bo, who's passed away. That's my mom and my dad. And when I had darker hair. <laughs> and here, there are... But when I had darker hair. <laughs> hey, look at and this here, shit, man. They're what they call command coins. Command coins are given in the battlefield, and the president has a command coin. And my command coin has on the back of it the Bose unit. We went to Iraq for a year. It's Max Ryan. So I'm going to give you a copy, give you one. What? If in fact, next time I see you, you don't have it, you have to buy the drinks. But you're in luck. I'm the only Irish who never met this, never had a drink in his life. <laughs> He gave us rank one token. Did you want to see the cabinet room? I want to show it to you. Come here. This is the cabinet room. Come on in. There's only one chair in here. It's about two inches higher than every other chair. These chairs should roll 100%. Also, lumbar support sucks. This chair sucks. Soft at the back, dog shit. This shit is trash. That's the chair. <laughs> Fix this piece of shit. These chairs shit. are really, really heavy. On the back of each chair. They're, not only are they heavy, they don't roll. They have to fucking lift them up. Dude, this guy's 1 HP. Dude, he can't lift this shit. Are you kidding me, dude? The name of the department they represent. This is the Secretary of Energy here in this chair. But there's a lot of really incredible things that have happened in this room. It's almost cathedral-like to me. Because when we're in here, we're talking about things of enormous consequence. Now, by the way, there's a tradition in my office. These chocolate chip cookies are all homemade. The what? The sun is included. Thanks for coming by, Architects from Digest. By the way, I'm a subscriber. I'm a frustrated architect. Thank you very much. Oh, the much. homework cookies. Sorry, the homework cookies. Appreciate it. Bye. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? All right, well, I just you want to play a couple games, bro, or what? What, 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 what are you going?